the animal. And the experts from a local zoo couldn't lure that gator out of the school pond today. They knew they needed to think bigger. Jason Colthorpe was at Bedford High School in Monroe County today and shows us the entire reptile rescue mission. It's been a long day out here behind Bedford High School in Monroe County where these zoo officials are on the hunt for a three foot alligator. He's been extremely elusive. Now they're draining this pond to try and catch him. First thing Friday morning, members of the Indian Creek Zoo had eyes on the reptile swimming around this pond behind the football field. Here's an even better look at him, courtesy of Drone 4, and turns out he's quite fast. How fast? It's faster than a 60 year old man, 240 pounds, okay? I went in the water, I tried to do everything, and it's quicker than me. That's Joe Garverick. He runs the zoo and this search, which is now in day two. There's a thousand kids around here. We came last night to check and there was kids all over. You don't want somebody to grab it and get bit. And it's all added to the excitement of homecoming here at Bedford High, where the principal even dressed up today as a crocodile hunter. I never thought I would have an alligator situation, but I'm also not surprised to have something that I haven't ever thought about. Now back to the hunt. Almost immediately, they realized they needed to drain this pond. The receding water slowly revealed turtles, a tire, even a bicycle, but no gator. We are going to get this thing tonight. It was a constant game of cat and mouse until finally. It's been two days and get it out of here so no kids get hurt and people don't come out here and, you know, some young kid could come out here and drown, you know, so. It's kind of neat that we got it. So after a five and a half hour fight today, pretty much draining this pond entirely, they finally caught what looks like an American alligator. It'll now go to the Indian Creek Zoo, where it will live out its days. We're in Lambertville today. Jason Colthorpe, Local 4. What a tale to <laughs> tell. Isn't it? Yes. And I like that guy faster than a 60-year-old, <laughs> 240-pound <laughs> guy. So we are told that the gator would not have survived the cold winter, so it was really important to make sure that he was brought out safely. And I know you're thinking, well, it's not that big. I mean, it looks like about this. But in the zoo, he could end up growing to be uh, 10 to 12 feet long. So long life ahead. We'll see.